everybody. We are back with another series on running with some sort of pain. I am Dr. Heather Moore, owner of Total Performance Physical Therapy. Uh, tonight, we're going to talk about running with knee pain. And again, uh, why are we even talking about running with knee pain? People who are not runners, triathletes, uh, addicted to working out, just read this and go, just don't run. And generally, uh, when I get a smart remark or a comment, that's generally what it is. Don't run. Well, if we enjoy running and, you know, a lot of people do, or you're a triathlete or you're training for something, knee pain isn't going to stop you and you're going to run right through it. And why am I doing this post? Because quite frankly, I am tired of the posts that I see. I get screenshotted uh, and sent to me on Facebook, on Instagram, all these different places where uh, I see people like, oh, I have pain in my knee running uphill. And then there's 57 comments on how to handle that pain. And I'm like, all right, I, I'm a PT for the US Olympic team. I'm really good at what I do. From what you just said in that post, I could not tell you what to do to fix it. But there's all these people like, oh, you do this stretch and then you do this exercise and then you do da 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 you know? So it's very interesting to me and it, it blows my mind sometimes the amount of uh, advice that is given, uh, and I know people mean well, but at the same time, what, so following some of this is really detrimental and can actually put you in a lot more pain and cause you to not be able to run. So be careful when you solicit advice uh, on the internet. It is really not the place to go. It is very complex, the knee joint, and we're gonna go into why you have pain and why you can't just throw the, it hurts when I run down hills, what do I do? Uh, and if you get answers, that's not somebody that understands exactly what's going on at all. Um, they may have experienced what they think is the same thing. The symptoms may have been the same, but it's totally different. I can get, I can tell you right now that, you know, if I see 10 people in a day, all 10 of them walk in here with knee pain running, it could be, they all could have the exact same symptoms. Oh, it hurts when I run up a hill. And all 10 of the reasons why it hurts when it runs up the hill could be different and they could be given 10 different activities to do. So be aware of that information that comes from people say, oh, I have the same thing. No, not, not all the time. Doesn't mean you don't, but a lot of the times it has nothing to do with one another or the stretch you're gonna do is actually gonna wind up hurting you. So be aware of that. Now running with knee pain, it is very, very common and it's something that you do want to uh, address and people don't address it because of the fact that they're afraid they're going to be told to stop running. So much like our running with back pain that we did previously, same thing with running with knee pain. Everybody that comes in here says, I didn't want to come because I didn't want to be told to not run. Or they run and the pain goes away. Oh, I just get two miles into it and the pain is gone. The pain is not gone. You compensated for it. So instead of dealing with it, instead of figuring out what's going on, you wound up compensating for it. How do you compensate for it? I don't know, and here's the issue. Here's the problem with knee pain. Very little is actually happening at the knee. Most of it's happening at your ankle, at your hip, at your back, in your foot. So when you talk about knee pain, you've gotta talk about all the other structures that go into that. So very rarely do we have a diagnosis of Okay, it's this. Now, we can have a diagnosis of IT band syndrome, IT band tendonitis, IT band tendonitis, pain on the outside of your leg. That's a diagnosis. What's causing it? I have no idea. There could be 50 things that are causing it. What is specifically causing it on you? That's where compensation comes in. That's where when people come in and they tell me, if I run, for 30 minutes, it's gone. You know, I, I just take, it takes me like five minutes and then the pain goes away. No, the pain went nowhere. You just compensated for it. And if we took a running analysis of you at minute one and a running analysis of you at minute five and a running analysis of you at minute 10, totally different uh, analysis are gonna happen, which is not good. You never wanna have different analysis throughout your run. So just be aware of those factors. and. While you don't want to necessarily give up running, and you shouldn't, honestly. And I know a lot of medical professionals do not agree with me, and I see it all the time. And I know that's why people don't always go to the doctor, because it's gotten such a bad rap. 
I promise when you come in here, I've taken people off of running less than I can count on one hand. I just don't do it. It's not necessary. So that fear could kind of go away because it's not something that you need to say, okay, I'm going to be taken off of running. However, if you continue to run with knee pain and you continue to ignore it and you just put some tape on there, you are going to actually not be able to run anymore. You will develop enough pain and enough compensation where it will not be able to, you know, get, go away after two miles. So be aware of the fact that you have that ability to compensate. Your body's very smart. You probably, I shouldn't say you probably, you have no idea you're doing it but it is a major contributor to knee pain. So let's talk about some of the reasons that you can have knee pain. So we talked about IT band tendonitis. That's pain on the outside of your knee. It is probably the number one thing I see pop up when somebody asks a question about knee pain. Oh, you must have IT band tendonitis. All right, great. So why? Why do you have IT band tendonitis? Um, and that's where the questions come in. I, I don't know why. There's a lot of reasons you could have IT band tendonitis. There could be leg length issues, there could be foot issues, there could be hip issues. There's a lot going on. So when you talk about specific diagnoses, you need to understand all that's coming into play at your knee. So one of the most common reasons that I see that people have knee pain is because they run very much knock kneed. okay? And a lot of times, you know, I mean, people automatically disqualify themselves. I don't run knock knee. Yes, we did. If we put you on a gait analysis, you would run very much with what we call over pronation, which causes your knees to go in. You may not be, it may not be visible to the eye. We may have to slow it down, but that is the reason. So why does that happen? One, you haven't been fitted for proper footwear. So when you talk about footwear, you want to be changing your shoes about every 300 miles. Your shoes will most likely not show any wear by that time. So that's the number one argument that I get with people is, oh, well, they look brand new. Yes, they do look brand new. And they probably are going to look brand new. But internally in the shoe, it's starting to break down. So you want to make sure that you are replacing them no more than every 300 miles. Uh, I make sure, I mean, literally, it's like clockwork. If I even push it 10 miles past, my knees and my ankles start to hurt immediately. So be aware that footwear is extremely important. If you've never been fitted, make sure you go to your local running store and get properly fitted. It makes a big difference. You wanna make sure that you have a shoe that fits your particular foot. So that's number one thing that we look at. Now there's a whole bunch of other reasons within the foot that it could wind up hurting your knee, but shoe footwear is one of the major reasons that you want to look for. And what happens is, is that if you're not hitting the ground correctly in your shoe, you can either wind up with running with bow legs or running with knock knees. And that can cause some major issues. So figure out if you have the proper shoe, make sure you've been fitted. Don't just go to Kohl's with 30% off and get whatever shoe is there. Make sure you've been properly fitted for running shoes. Another reason that people run uh, and may have knee pain is hip weakness. A lot of people cannot activate their glute medius. So their glute medius, you control a lot of the pronation, a lot of the movement of your leg. Most runners do not know how to activate this muscle. And what I'm gonna show you right now is just a quick and simple exercise to do to see how active your glute medius is. So you just stand on one leg and all you're gonna do is drop your hip down and then lift it up and down and up. Now, this knee does not move, it's not this. It is just a simple, your hips are level, you drop them down, you bring it up, all right? You're not doing this. Now, most of you if you've never done glute meat exercises, you're gonna to start to feel a burn right away in that standing leg. That means that your glute, your butt, is not able to control your knee. And your knee's gonna wobble all over the place when you run. Again, these are not things that you're going to identify. These are not things that you're gonna look down and be like, oh, my knee is shaking all over the place. No, you are gonna compensate. You're gonna use your IT band. 
to work harder to compensate for that glute medius. You're going to use your adductors to help stabilize the knee. So when I read things like, oh, just do this stretch, I'm like, all right, maybe that quad is tight. Maybe you do have a tight hamstring, but what's weak? Where's the weakness? What are we looking at? So again, it is usually a compensation issue. Uh, this would be a glute med compensation issue. If you're doing this, if you run 10 miles and you can't do this for a minute, three times, without actually one fatiguing, two falling over, or three trying to bend your knee profusely, that's an issue I can guarantee you either you have knee pain or you're going to have knee pain because you're missing some major muscles to help control that knee. So the compensation that happens at the hip is tremendous. Why else? Lack of abdominal control. Again, this comes from the fact that you can be compensating. Nothing happens at the knee really. There's no specific muscles that only attach at the knee. They attach at the hip, they attach at the ankle. So anything in between can cause uh, deficits, can cause that knee pain. Do you have shin splints? That can cause knee pain. Are you on the verge of having shin splints? You don't even know it. That can cause knee pain when running. So you want to make sure that all these things are equal. Make sure that you are doing an abdominal routine. And if you don't have one, we have one on our YouTube channel, Total Performance Physical Therapy. There is an abdominal routine. Make sure that you have a hip routine that you're doing. And I know runners and triathletes hate to do strength training. I get it, but it is necessary. You don't have to go to the gym. It's all body weight stuff. I mean, you can stand at the kitchen and do dishes and be doing this once you get good enough at it. You wanna make sure your glute knee is strong. You wanna make sure your abdominals are strong. You also wanna make sure that you're wearing proper footwear, okay? Those are three basic things that can cause compensation, that can cause knee pain. But again, it is extremely important if you suffer from knee pain to find all of the reasons that your knee is hurting. It is never one thing. Unless you fall and crash and crack your patella or tear your ACL, it is never one reason why your knee is hurting. So to accept a generalized answer of just do this stretch, or here's two exercises you can do. Even what I gave you tonight is extremely simplistic and won't solve knee pain when running. It'll start putting you in some direction, but you need to have it diagnosed. You need to talk with an expert. You need to understand how that knee is, what's causing that knee pain. And if somebody says IT band tendonitis, great. What's causing that? You need to be like a two-year-old. Why, 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 why? Find out the grassroots of why you have that knee pain. And if you can't, then you're going to wind up not being able to run. Let's talk about tape. So I see people show up to races looking like a mummy. They've got 75 pieces of tape. I'm a huge tape fan. I tape myself, I tape everybody. If you've got more than three pieces of tape, you, you're not doing it right. Don't waste your tape, don't waste your energy, all right? Be aware that tape can help decrease inflammation, doesn't solve anything by itself. So if you are taping every time you're running, there is an issue that you need to address. And if you want a free consultation, we have them. All you have to do is call our office at 215-997-9898 and ask for one and we'd be happy to get you in. But understand that if you are taping, if you are wearing splints, if you are wearing any sort of this running gear that you need to, to run and be able to hold off on knee pain or be able to get through a race, you're going, it's going to eventually catch up with you. So there are things that we do in here that will keep you running but it's not a fix. Do not assume that you, you know, are gonna stop running for two weeks, the pain's gonna go away and all is well. If you stop running for two weeks, you're gonna calm down the inflammation, the pain will dissipate, it will come back with a vengeance. So run, stopping running is not the answer. Just be aware that when you have knee pain, and, I, and I'm saying this to runners, this goes for anybody that has knee pain. There are many, many reasons why you have knee pain. It is one of the hardest things to diagnose. 
because there are so many causes and you have to look at it from so many different angles and you've got to be able to see a bunch of different things and if you do not go to the right person they are not going to see it and you're going to wind up doing hamstring stretches and these little quad exercises and never get any better unfortunately i know i've seen it it sucks that those exist in my profession but that's what happens so Make sure that when you go and you finally make the decision to get the knee pain treated, that you are able to answer why and you're able to come up with a clear cut diagnosis of what's going on with your knee. If you want a free consultation, all you have to do is call our office at 215-997-9898 and we'd be happy to help you. Thanks and have a good night.